Right, thank you, Corey. Well, the warmer weather months are here, so it's time to give your finances a little sun. And here to tell us what that means is Jonas Everett with Premier Investments of Iowa. And you also have... Good to see you, Chris. Good to see you, yeah. first of all. I know. I'm in a bocce ball league bocce with ball. your husband. I know. I should uh, have we had a jacket. Yeah, we have, we have jackets. Those Do, master's jackets right. we could wear today. But, Did uh, you? Were you on the... T one that he, the same team when he won? Yeah, absolutely. So the, it's like the Howard Cosell yellow? Yeah, Masters yes. jacket. Oh, we should have worn I was telling my wife I was going to wear that, but I didn't, oh, you know, I wasn't it. thinking. So, uh, Next but time. I got you a book, A No you Budget did. Life. Okay. Uh, this is going for a dollar and a quarter on eBay. If okay. you hold on to it mm -hmm. as an investment, it might be worth five dollars in like five years. Well, I will hold on to it. Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about how people that mm -hmm. are good at paying their bills off mm -hmm. and staying out of yeah. debt, but you might not be too great about saving money. Okay. So what do you do? It's uh, part of the uh, part of keeping your finances mm -hmm. in the sun. One idea that I have mm -hmm. that uh, if you pay off a bill, I'll give you an example. My wife and I love the, la the Lady Hawk, so we, we uh, signed up for the streaming service. Nice. Lulu, Hulu, I, I forget what it was. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Peacock or something right. like that. $80 a month, the mm -hmm. season's over. Yep. The bill, uh, we stopped the bill. Guess what? We redirected that $80 mm -hmm. a month and I march it down to an out of the way credit union yep. that I have a savings account. I don't have access to a debit card there. I don't have any checkbooks oh, to it. Okay. The key is it's mental accounting for mm -hmm. every household. If you get rid of a bill and you use that same exact amount to put in your savings, mm -hmm. you're already used to paying that bill. You're already it's used true. to paying that amount. Okay. If you don't take advantage of the opportunity, then that'll be gone forever. And guess what? You're gonna have another bill that you're, mm -hmm. you'll be paying off. So okay. people don't give their households enough credit. You're, you're paying bills off all the time. Mm -hmm. And you might be pretty good about uh, keeping your, your debt low, but you're just not too great about saving, saving money. It. So. Now, what I like about this concept is that it's, it's for every household, no matter what your wealth mm -hmm. is. You could, you could pay something off that's $50 a month and just redirect that uh, to a savings account. Okay. Because a lot of people either pay it off and then it's like, hey, there's, there's money there, I can spend There's then. money I can spend. Okay. I, I might be guilty of that one, but okay. So well, no, that's I need, why I need to that's put why that, you read that. That's book, why I have so. the book. <laughs> and I will put it now into yeah, savings. Yeah. Okay. The reason this is important is uh, people uh, have the luxury of thinking that credit's always going to be available. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I've been doing finances now for over 30 years, and one of the things that I've noticed is I don't follow the stock market, I follow the credit markets. Back in 2009, mm -hmm. when you were a small business owner, you couldn't get any credit. Um, okay. The credit shrank nope. back in 2009. So as a household, you got to think of yourself as a small business owner. So oh, okay. you have to have a first spare tire and uh -huh. a second spare tire. Okay. A first spare tire is six months of savings, your living expenses, okay. six months of living expenses. Your second spare tire is exactly what I talked about. You pay that, mm -hmm. you get rid of cable, you cut the cord, and you, you're saving $180 right. a month, march that down to a savings account. No, don't spend it. Don't spend don't it. Spend it. Build, okay. up, build up your second spare tire. Trust no. me, you're, you're going to love no. this. For the next one, because right. summer's coming up, what do people do with homes that are over 20 or 25 years old? You have to remodel, right? Of course. Of course you do. <laughs> COVID, yeah. COVID taught us one thing being at home. and It's like every square foot of your house needs remodeled. Yep. Uh, one of the things that you never, ever want to do mm -hmm. and why, you, why you're using that extra savings is never use your home as a piggy bank for remodeling. Okay. You have to save up and use cash for any remodeling mm. because it's a downward spiral. If you're using your home as a piggy bank, guess what? Interest rates have risen 11 times yep. in a row. You're paying double on that interest and you're just accruing more debt. You're just you're just digging a hole that you're not going to right. uh, get out of. And you know how uh, houses <laughs> work. It's a never-ending yeah, battle. It it's is. a it's it's almost it's a money something. pit. Yes. The nice thing is the value of your house goes up. The bad thing is you're never done remodeling your house. Yeah. So you have to discipline yourself and just use cash when mm. you remodel a house. Discipline. Never ever use your your house okay. as a piggy bank. Okay. Yeah, discipline. So tell, That's a tell big Justin one. that. Okay. So. <laughs> yes, My husband Justin. We should mention that. Yeah. Which I know that yeah, in the book here it does say uh, to to Justin. Yeah. And I assume you mean now my husband Justin. Justin. Yeah, okay. your husband. Of yeah. husband Justin. Yeah. I'm not worried right. about you. You you're, you're oh, good yeah. at a budget. So. Don't tell my husband that. He'll <laughs> totally disagree with you on that one. <laughs> so don't you? I think a lot of people do that. That you kind of use their. 
their it, house is a, absolutely. a piggy bank. They and you always house. see something in your house that yeah. needs to be done. Oh, always. you have to, yeah. And now's yeah. the time of year where you just go gung-ho and you try to yep. remodel things around absolutely. the house. So, uh, the nice thing about our financial plans is we start off uh, with a unique question. We ask each household, what has to happen for you to feel happy about your mm -hmm. progress with okay. everything? And we start from basically whatever the whatever mm -hmm. good that you've done so far with your finances. We try to we try to compound that and, and okay. get people um, in a better situation than they mm -hmm. were before they met us. So that's something you want people to take away from this. Yep. Is that don't use your house. Yep. If you pay something off, you want to save yep. that. Take advantage take of that, advantage that of, dollar amount. Right. And credit, it's not always going to be available. It's not always going to be available. Okay. And how can people find you? Uh, they can call 800-383-6590 or locally 363-3811. Mm -hmm. They can get started that way? Absolutely. Okay. I, I am Good. booked until July, though. All my snowbirds are coming back into town. Okay. So, so uh, call for a July appointments. July appointment. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much for being After here today. After you're done with the remodeling, right? Right. And you know what? <laughs> Next time, we're going to have to wear a bocce jacket. Yeah, that's right. That would be so much fun. That would be. I know. I think he'll let me wear it. I don't know. I didn't really win it. He did, but maybe he will. We would match that way. Okay. We're going to do that. <laughs> All right. Thank